Hi, I'm here with AJ Schuler, Senior Consultant at Optimal Networks, and today we're talking about vendor relationships. Um, AJ, what are the two most common problems people face in managing external vendor relationships? I think what our clients tell us is the biggest challenge, biggest challenges they've had in, in their relationships in the past are lack of flexibility and, and lack of listening. If you're going to have a, an ongoing relationship, your vendor has to be able to work with the ebb and flow of your needs over time, and they have to be proactive uh, and very engaged to keep their ear to the ground uh, as changes are coming, not wait for you to, not, not simply be passive and waiting for you uh, to explain your needs. They should be digging. And so how do you prevent these problems? Uh, two ways. The, the principal way would be planning for that uh, relationship. You want to find someone who is going to be proactive and regular in their communication. Uh, and the second would be uh, building multiple points of contact in advance with people in your organization. You also want to have proactively a relationship with people a little bit more senior in the management chain who know you, uh, who won't be surprised to hear from you and who understand your needs well before any problem might ever occur. Right. And now let's say the problems happen. They're not preventable. Uh, now what? Well, now it's time to get really clear about the expectations of deliverables you need from your partner to give them an opportunity to respond. So what I recommend if you're an IT manager in a mid-sized organization, uh, get some specific uh, feedback from the principals, the partners in your organization in terms of what they'd like to see in terms of results. Combine that with your own impressions and then assemble a, a meeting, at least a conference call, preferably a face-to-face -face meeting um, with these multiple points of contact in your vendor relationship to lay all this out, be very specific about the changes that you want to see, and how you're going to measure the results and what time frame. That gives your, your vendor an opportunity uh, to respond if things get to that so point. So key takeaways for people who are vetting external vendor relationships, IT or otherwise? Well, I, I think... Uh, doing your homework in advance and working uh, by referral. People who are organizations who are really good at sustaining relationships uh, aren't there you know, all the time. So uh, it's best to go by people you trust to find other people that you can trust in the vendor relationship. And second, I would ask very specific questions, not just about the technological competence of a potential IT partner if we're talking IT, uh, but also what are their service systems and, and, and processes? What's their playbook? For ensuring that problems in the relationship don't occur. Um, they should be proactive in laying out how they want to prevent all those things. Well, for thank you. you so much, AJ. I appreciate your time thank today. You, all right, bye-bye.